The Cats are trying to do what TCU did two years ago, shock the nation, get a spot in the college football playoff. TCU also trying to do what they did two years ago, win a lot of football games. They have won their first two. Robbie Fueling has more on a guy who's been a big part of those wins. At this point in the football season, you're always looking for the standouts. Whose name's going to be called in the most pressure-packed situations? One young man the Horn Frogs look to is J.P. Richardson. Remember the glory days of 2022? Quentin Johnston has the first down, and off he goes! They are not going to catch him! The magic continues for TCU! After that magical run to a national championship, TCU lost eight Horn Frogs to the NFL, including the likes of Darius Davis and Quentin Johnston. So who was tasked with filling those shoes? Well, Savion Williams and a young man from Missouri City, Texas. There's a little baby picture sitting um, in my parents' room of me holding a football. I'm probably not even a year old. And it all came from, you know, obviously being in a football family, my dad just introduced me introducing me to the game at such an early age and stuff and I just kind of always always knew I'd love it. Funny thing about JP, he used to line up on the other sideline as an Oklahoma State Cowboy, but he transferred to TCU for one reason. You know, just I wanted more. I wanted more out of out of football and I just didn't feel like I was getting that there. I felt like I could just be the guy here and I feel like I've done a good job so far just taking advantage of the opportunities that I've um, you know been given. And you know, I'm just keep working every single day to be the best receiver, the best person, best um, player that I can be. This season, he's doing just that with the new QB1. Josh Hoover, <laughs> Hoover's one of my best friends, man. He's, he's such an amazing dude. He's so humble and um, he's such a strong leader. The guys definitely rally to him. He's somebody that every single person on this team respects. You know, we could look to him for, for anything. The Horn Frogs got their leaders and they got their purpose. I want you to press play here, and I want to get your reaction to this video. Press play, okay. Here we go, hold on. All right, but I know what we need to do to get it fixed. Okay, no doubt in my mind, I know what we need to do to get this fixed. Okay, and we will get it fixed. So, this team that's coming back after this year, we're gonna have a hell of a football team. So get ready. What do, you, what do you think of when you see that? I just got the chills. I'm not even joking. <laughs> like, chills just went down my spine. Um, this team is special, man. I'm, I'm telling you. Um, we have an unbelievable family atmosphere. Like, we all love each other. Like, and it's, it feels different than, than any other team I've been on. Like, we all came here for a reason, and, and that was to win games. I mean, all, we have a ton of transfers, myself, and the sole reason that we came here at the end of the day was to win games. So what's the difference between a national championship run and not making a bowl game. The margin's pretty slim. I think it's not getting ahead of ourselves, and I think a lot of it is um, humility as well. It's easy to, um, you know, oh, we did all this last year. Like, you gotta realize, like, every year is a completely different group, completely different team. Good work, Robbie, in a monster game for the Frogs. Next week, the final scheduled meeting for the Iron Skillet against SMU.